What project have you been putting off? What blog post has been sitting in your drafts folder for weeks or even for months? What cool demo have you been too nervous to share at work? Sharing your work and ideas is a scary prospect. It requires us to be more open and vulnerable than we are typically comfortable with. It requires us to potentially step into the spotlight in a way that can feel incredibly nerve wracking when we aren't used to it. And honestly, even when we are used to it, it still feels nerve wracking at times. That's all very hard. And it's more than enough to keep us from sharing our, our work and our ideas with other people. In this week's episode, I want to take a few minutes and just chat about why it can be so worthwhile to lean into those fears and uncertainties and, and those sort of nervous thoughts and go ahead and actually share our work. Sometimes it's just helpful to remind ourselves of what we stand to gain from doing something. And in this case, from putting ourselves out there and sharing our, our blog posts, our ideas, our, our projects, our demos, etc. Hey devs, and welcome back to another episode of the Gubar podcast, where we talk about building great software and helping others to do the same. This episode goes out to anyone and everyone that has been nervous about sharing their work, to anyone that has thought nobody will want to read this, or no one will think this project is interesting. I hope this episode can validate those fears and uncertainties and serve as a reminder of the many positive things that can come with sharing your work. So with that, let's just uh, jump right in to why sharing can be so helpful to us and to others. So first off, there's a lot of experience to be gained from sharing your work, thoughts, ideas, etc. It improves our written and verbal communication. It helps us formulate our own thoughts and opinions. It helps us learn to share those thoughts and opinions in a more coherent way. Regularly sharing can help build confidence in speaking to coworkers, to managers, to, to strangers even. It can help increase the impact of the documents that you prepare for work. Maybe you're building a release plan. Maybe you're building a technical proposal. It can help you write these things and help them have more impact with who you're trying to communicate with. In general, just kind of across the board, whatever you're doing, improving our written, verbal, and nonverbal communication skills is really beneficial. Another really valuable skill that I think can be developed by sharing our, your work is storytelling. Telling a compelling story can be the difference between an idea, opinion, or project gaining traction or just falling by the wayside and, and nobody really paying it much attention. Learning what story you're trying to tell and how to relate to your, your audience can make your blog post more helpful. It can make your open source project more attractive or your conference talk more engaging. And so what do I mean by telling a story here? I mean, trying to understand the perspective of your target audience. What is the problem that they're trying to solve? What is the transformation that maybe you hope that they would go through from reading your article or, or attending your, your conference talk? You know, this concept of storytelling, it doesn't just apply to content you might present to some external audience either. Storytelling can be really valuable in your career as well. Understanding the needs of your audience, your, your stakeholders, your project managers, etc. gives you an opportunity to better craft your project release plans or your feature demos or any other internal facing document or presentation. You know, if you know that there are fears about your team releasing a product on time or releasing a new feature on time, when you communicate with those people, you can take that into account and you can try to alleviate those fears and talk about the things you're doing to try and get things functional earlier in the process, how you are developing the, the project in a way that's going to try and avoid uh, breakdowns or, or uh, blown release timelines. So again, this, this concept of storytelling and being able to craft your message and tailor it to the people you're talking to is really, really helpful. And sharing your content publicly can give you more practice at that. 
Now, sharing interesting work or, or ideas might also spark interesting conversations. You might meet new people. You could discover new points of view. An audience might really respond to your work and, and validate your ideas. Or conversely, maybe they have some critiques of your work and you can find some ways that you can improve or you can find better solutions to things. This, this sharing and this discussion or conversation that can come up around your sharing is a really helpful way to expand your, your circle and engage with others in a meaningful way. Now, to just touch on that a little bit more, let's touch on like the scary part of that a little bit. So one of the scary ideas we tell ourselves that keeps us from sharing is, what if I'm wrong? It's natural to not want to be wrong or even really not even wrong. It's natural to, to not want to be sometimes even a little bit off. Even if we get almost everything right and like one little piece is wrong, that oftentimes still lands as if everything we did was wrong. So, so yes, sometimes we might share something and someone could point out inaccuracies, missing perspectives, or even just outright angrily disagree with us. Because let's face it, people like to be very contrarian and argumentative online these days. Well, even in these situations, sometimes these are actually some of the best reactions to sharing your work. And, I, and I'm not talking about people that are being just outright rude or, or trolling or anything like that, but people that actually point out things kind of in a spirit of, of helpfulness and of having an honest, open discourse. These can be really good reactions because they can lead to really great personal learning opportunities or, or ways for us to, to improve. You know, you might discover a new tool or a new library you might come across an opinion that you weren't aware of or hadn't considered before, and you can use that to improve your own work as you move forward. Now, another big positive benefit of sharing is that you never know how sharing your work might lead to interesting benefits or opportunities for you. Just a few examples here. You might share a prototype demo internally to your direct team. And that could turn into your company's next big product because they like it so much or it provides so much value to your customers. You might develop an open source app for learning a new technology and then end up getting invited to teach workshops on that subject using your app and then maybe get invited to apply for grants to do more of that development and teaching on that subject. This is a real example, actually. This one happened to someone I've been working with in kind of a one-on-one -on -one situation. And it's really amazing to see the opportunities to come out of the work that he's been doing. Uh, another example here, maybe you share an article about benchmarking uh, uh, performance of some new framework. You could end up having a one-on-one -on -one technical dive into improving those benchmarks with the lead of the project. This one is also a, a real example from a, a coworker of mine who just wrote an awesome article on Jetpack Compose and then ended up getting to have a one-on-one -on -one with Leland Richardson to chat about an, another sort of additional way we could benchmark uh, Compose and provide even better data and insights into its performance. So these are just a couple examples of, of unexpected ways that, that sharing could come back to benefit you and can come back to provide additional learning opportunities, maybe career opportunities, uh, opportunities for collaboration with different people. The point is that we have no idea of knowing sort of what might come our way or what the, the results or, or impact of kind of putting ourselves out there could be. But we definitely know that not doing it is going to lead to basically nothing happening. So there, there's benefit just from the doing it. There's personal benefit from learning and improving your communication skills. And then there's also these potential benefits. So there's a lot of upside and a little bit less on, on the downside there, or less on the risk side. The last benefit I'll talk about here is that through sharing, we can help those that are coming after us, we can help those that are, are even in similar situations to us, or frankly, even sort of maybe ahead of us, uh, maybe someone that's already well-established in their career, they can still learn from something that a, a junior new dev writes. 
So if you fix a tricky bug, you know, you might share how you fixed it. If you build a, a helpful new tool, you could let others know about it so that they may benefit from it as well. Your perspective, your specific words, or even just the timing of your sharing could be exactly what is needed to help somebody else learn or to help someone else feel inspired or motivated. So there's a lot of value in you simply sharing your message, your uh, tips, uh, whatever it is, your, your projects, your, your functionality. There's benefit in you sharing it in your own unique way because that could be something that resonates uniquely for other people. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this episode. Just trying to keep it short. Just take a, a moment to highlight some of the positive things that come out of this. I know there's a lot more we could chat about sort of on the subject of, of sharing your thoughts and ideas and work publicly. We could chat about how to identify, manage, and accept sort of the anxieties or fears that come up for us about sharing, how to respond to negative feedback, how to share more regularly, probably a lot of other things. If you're interested and you, you'd like more discussion around these particular topics, let, let me know on social media or send an email to podcast at goobar.dev. As a closing item here, I, I encourage you to think about what you've been wanting to share, but maybe haven't. Maybe it's a talk or a blog post or maybe a project. I encourage you to share it with someone. It doesn't have to be shared with the whole world. Share with anyone, even a, a single person, and start building up your level of comfort with the whole notion of sharing your work. If you're looking for someone to share it with, I'm, I'm happy to have you share it with me. I'm happy to see what everyone is, is working on and, and you know give feedback or, or just uh, give you a big thumbs up and pat on the back. So with that, we'll go ahead and, and close this out. Everybody have a great week. Until next time, devs.